What does the Ghana Year of Return actually mean? Well, let's find out. Engage. Travel is my passion, passion, passion. PassportKings.com Your travel lifestyle will never be the same again. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel-related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ringing the bell so you can be the first in the know when I upload new content. 2019 was a special year in Ghana, Africa. 1619 was the year when Africans were brought to America during the transatlantic slave trade. Ghana declared 2019 the year of return which was an invite for all African Americans and African Islanders to come for a visit. From January to June, tourism boomed to 20% more visitors. If you look at social media timelines of some of your favorite personalities, a lot of celebrities have been taking Ghana up on their offer. A lot of people are visiting Cape Coast Castle to get a feel for what our ancestors were going through while being prepared for the gruesome trip across the Atlantic Ocean to build the United States. I have not met any black person who visited those castles and came out the same. They should be called dungeons. African Americans gain a new respect for those who made the journey to America and started our second history here. 2019 signaled 400 years since the anchoring of the English ship in Jamestown, Virginia in the United States, commencing the slave trade in the USA. Even though the invite to Ghana is open to the larger black diaspora, who actually originated in a lot of other nations in Africa, many African Americans who take DNA tests come to realize that their heritage is mostly from West Africa and Ghana to be specific. The year of return was an invite for us to finally come home. Accra is a lot more than a vacation destination. Everyone will treat you like family, but unlike the USA, you actually are family. You're no different than others. Ghana granted citizenship to over 100 African Americans and Afro-Caribbeans this year. Make sure you watch to the end of the video so you can learn where to download my ebook on how to make money in the travel industry. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. So have you gone to Ghana? Write yes in the comments and share your experience. Does the invite to Ghana even make you curious? Write those thoughts in the comments below. A lot of African Americans would tell you that they feel no connection with Ghana or anywhere in Africa. They would like to stay comfortably in their city. They have no desire to travel away from their block other than to work. A lot of this is set out of fear and I think a lot of feelings come from the miscommunications that happens between African Americans and African Africans. Although we are the same, we are different in many ways because of our experiences and cultures. The differences are pointed out and made fun of just like all uneducated parties do when they're meeting people who are different from them for the first time. The year of return, I feel, is a great opportunity to investigate new relations with the other children of our ancestors. When I've made videos about black Americans going to Africa and possibly staying, I've gotten a lot of flack from the keyboard militants. They called me a sellout and said, it is cowardly to travel elsewhere and leave our people who are in American ghettos and not spending my time and resources helping out and rebuilding the current communities. They called me weak for not wanting to stay and fix up the ghettos. My response is, I've never seen someone in another race say that. When you and your family finally get out of the trailer parks, you should have to go back and fix up the trailer park so you can live there better. It was inhumane to be there in the first place. Yes, you can help the others out that live there, but I feel the way to help them out is by sending back the tools to help them also move out of the ghettos. We don't need to fix the scraps we were given. We need to leave and build anew. We need to thrive, not just survive. I feel that that can be done abroad or in other places in America. Traveling and experiencing our history instead of just reading about it will change your perspective about who we are and what we deserve. Right now, I'm not personally ready to drop everything I have in America to move to Ghana or anywhere else for good. If America keeps going the way it has been going, I'm sure I will probably wish I moved out of here sooner than later. Many African American business people are right now opening businesses and schools in Ghana. Africa's long lost children are moving home. The Africaners in South Africa are being pushed back to Australia and thousands of colonizers are moving back to Europe. I guess things have a way of balancing themselves out. This world is changing and it has other groups up in arms about the recently found independence of black people. A lot of people think African American history started out in slavery, when slavery is actually what interrupted our history. 
who knows what our position in the world would be right now if we didn't have so many drawbacks from people who wish to oppress us. Although our arrival to Ghana will definitely be a feel good moment. Also, visiting helps Ghana's economy too. To encourage us, the government either waived visa requirements or cut the cost of a visa on arrival in half. The government is making it real clear that if you visit, you may want to permanently move to Ghana. But if you never travel, you will never know. Just imagine the feeling of being a human who is free free. Using the combination of planet marketing and tele-travel is the best way I have found to make an extraordinary income while doing what we love, traveling. Join me and you will be able to work from home or any location in the world on a part-time or full-time basis just using your laptop and cell phone. There is no experience necessary. All the training is provided by wonderful people who already have amazing results with helping families financially in the travel industry. If you also love to travel, trust me, this will be a no-brainer. Watch the two videos in the link, then contact me to get started. But if you just want to take a trip to one of these laps of luxury, let Passport Kings be your agent. The homecoming party in Ghana starts with Afro Chella festivals. This well-known festival brought thousands of young Africans to come learn history and have a great time socializing. Droves of celebrities and black college alumni organizations have been taking Ghana up on their offer this year. The flight to Ghana is about 800 bucks if you plan well in advance. Now go to www.passportkings.com to download my free book called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More. The 2020 edition is on its way and you will get it for free if you already have the 2019 version. So if you're a black American that's thinking about a great place to visit on your next vacation, why not explore your culture? Instead of singles chasing sex or couples rekindling your relationships on vacations, let's go to Africa. Flights are about 10 hours non-stop. Start out with the Accra, Ghana, since they did send us an invite. Learn your local language, eat local food like jello rice, and take in the entire experience like a king of Passport Kings. Peace.